Hey guys, got level here, and uh, this is the second animated bit jar that I'm doing. If you guys remember, for Halloween, I created this cauldron where you can just slap your default uh, bit jar behind it, and then boom, cauldron animated bit jar. Today, we're gonna be doing something different. We're gonna be doing a snow globe animated bit jar, which actually requires more steps than uh, the cauldron, but not that more many steps basically so let me walk you through it if you haven't seen my other video definitely check it out especially since you can get that cauldron for free if you just watch the video and also in that video i show you how to add uh everything basically if you want to add a the animated stuff you go to media add media source uh, click add source find your file add new source blah 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 you know how to do that right if you want to add the jar click the plus find your jar click the jar so i'm going to turn off the cauldron let's start by adding the jar or animation actually um, click the plus button go to media source add source add new source name it i'm gonna call it globe add source browse find your file animated snow, snow globe jar by gal level dot webm it is a webm file click loop make sure it loops um i'm gonna uncheck restart playback when source becomes active so it doesn't so it doesn't just restart the thing every time we're switching scenes Okay, done. And that's the snow globe. Okay. Plain and simple. You want to add the jar, click that plus, click the jar. Boom. Now, if you're not using Streamlabs OBS and you're using OBS Studio, it is also possible to add a jar. You just have to copy it from the Streamlabs website. Mine seems to already be customized. So normally you would have the choice between those, but that's fine. Just add the jar and then you'll worry about that later. I'll show you how to actually add uh, this custom jar that I have. Okay. Go to streamlabs.com, log in with your Twitch account. And in the search bar top here, just type jar, tip jar settings. And then boom, you're in. Okay. So you're probably going to have the default one. What I want you to do is go to enable custom HTML slash CSS and click enabled. Okay. And here you're going to see a lot of code, which is going to be very different from what I have. And I want you to control a select everything and just boom, delete everything. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry if you're afraid uh, it's gonna mess up your stream or whatever. There's a big red reset button right here Boom resets everything that you had. Well, well actually, yeah, that is what you're gonna have by default Okay, so I'm gonna go in here control a select everything click delete on my keyboard And then I'm gonna paste a code that I will provide to you. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna put this probably on the gumroad uh, folder. This will be there So just control C and then control V Wait, we still have an image there. Let me delete this. This will not be part of the code. Just like boom. OK, so it's going to be transparent. So now click save settings and technically your jar will be invisible. But do not fear. Do not fear. If you don't have anything dropping, that's completely fine. Uh, one way to get that going on is going back to Streamlabs uh, website and clicking test Twitch follows a bunch of time. Keep clicking until you're ready to fill that jar. Basically, click, 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 click and go back to Streamlabs and you're going to see them uh, falling down here. That's going to give you kind of an idea of where are your jars boundaries. OK, so I'm going to try to place this in a way that fits my snow globe. I'm also going to place it in a way that um, basically where I'm going to put it. OK, because I have this on a separate scene. I'm going I'm going to import that scene later on to my other scenes. Right. So basically, I'm going to go here. I'm going to click add uh, scene and then I'm going to choose this scene. But you can do it any other way. You can do it straight into your scene and just group them up. OK, so we'll place this uh, approximately like that. You just make it fit the way you feel like uh, it fits best. OK. All right, that's not too bad. OK, so in your source list, you actually want the jar to be underneath the globe, right? So now it feels like it's part of it. Uh, let's load up a game scene and then boom, you have a snow globe uh, with your bit jar in it. Right now, there's a little bit of issues with the transparency, but I'm going to fix that before I upload it to Gumroad. OK, so the whole thing is going to be free on Gumroad.com slash Gael level. But wait. As someone who's always talking about branding and color scheme and blah, blah, blah. OK, you don't like the color red for some reason. You want a snow globe that is not red. That's fine. Select your globe, right click it, go to filters, click that plus, select color correction, click done and then play with the hue shift. Oh, you want it purple, you want it blue, you want it whatever color you want. 
it's right there. You want to go crazy with it, drop that contrast and <laughs> Never mind, don't, don't do that, don't do that, okay? <laughs> but if you want it to be a little brighter or whatever, just play around with the color correction. So basically what I did here is add it as a scene, okay? And from there, since it's a whole scene, I can just move it around. Um, I can crop the dead space, basically you're holding Alt, but that's too much explanation, Gail, okay? You showed us uh, the essential. There you go, custom animated tip jar for free for the holidays, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you enjoy it, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what type of other animated tip jar would you like me to do in the future. So get it now, gumroad.com slash level, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Go out there. Make me proud. Happy holidays. Get level out.